Okay, now the second part of our session today is discussing about adding and multiplying to generating function. Now let's suppose I got f of x as the first generating function and g of x as the second generating function. All right. Now if we want to add those together, then all what we need is ax plus g of x is equal to the first generating function plus the second, which means it is equal to sigma starting from zero until infinite, then all what we need is adding a of x, uh, a k plus b k. For the multiplying, it is the same. So the product of two functions is equal to sigma starting from zero and finite. Then we have a j times a k. And you can see here, we got two different type. So k starting from zero, then we got the second j starting from zero until k. Okay. Let's see this example here. We got the first generating function as 2 over 1 minus x and g of x as the second generating function, which equal to 3 over 1 minus x. Now we need to find the summation of those two functions. Okay. All right. We can see here it started from the closed form. So all what we need to do is convert this closed form to a series form. So f of x is equal to 2 over 1 minus x. And again, if we go back to the rules we got, we can see that 2 over 1 minus x is equal to 2, 1 minus x to the power minus 1. Okay? So this can be converted to series form as we call it as SA, okay, as 2, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed infinitely, okay. Now, from here, we can see that f of x as a series form is equal to 2 plus 2x plus 2x squared plus 2x cubed and so on. Okay? Now, we have to do the same for the second generating function. So, the closed form we got for g of x is equal to 3 over 1 minus x, which equal to, back to the rules, as 3 over, sorry, 3 times 1 minus x to the power minus 1. Okay? Now, 1 minus x to the power minus 1 as a series form is equal to 3, 1, plus x plus x square x cube and so on okay now from here we can see that the g of x is equal to 3 plus 3x plus 3x square plus 3x cube and so on Okay, now we can find the f of x plus g of x. Okay, and how we do so? We just substitute the series form of f of x and the series form of g of x. And we got that f of x is equal to 2, 2x, 2x squared, 2x cubed plus 3, 3x squared, 3x cubed, 
sorry, head 3x also. Squares cube and so on. Okay. Now, after adding those together, I will just add the similarity. So here we got 2 and 3 and we ca it can be added together. So this is equal to 5. Here we got 2x and 3x. Same, um, yeah, the second, same x. So we can add the constant here. So we got here 5x. Then 5x squared. 5x cubed, and so on. So this is equal to the add of f of x plus g of x. Now, we need to take this back to the closed form. So if we can see here, 5 is a common in each term. So we can have it as the common factor. And we left here with 1 plus x plus x squared and so on. The series form from the rules is equal to 1 minus x to the power minus 1 which equal to 5 divided by 1 minus x which is equal to f of x plus g of x all right another example here but we started from the summation form okay so here we got this first function as sigma 0 to infinite 6 to power k x to the power k and the second one is summation x uh, k start from 0 to infinite 7 to the power k, x to the power k. We need to find the generating function for f of x plus g of x. Okay, so we start with f of x, which is equal to sigma infinite 6 to the power k, x to the power k. All right, and we got the g of x as starting from 0 until infinite, 7 to the power k, x to the power, again, k. Adding those together, f of x plus g of x, following the theorem we got there, is equal to the first summation, 0, infinite, 6k, x to the power k, plus the second function, 0, infinite, 7 to the power k, x to the power k. Okay? Now, what we can do is, we can first take the k as common in here. So, this is equal to summation, k starting from 0, infinite. 6x to the power k since it is common in the first and the second term again here 0 infinite 7x and all to power k okay now we can see here that summation is start from the same point and end the same ending point so we can have the sigma as the common factor and we left here 6x to the power k plus 7x to the power k okay so the last point we reached here that f of x plus g of x is equal to summation starting from 0 until infinite and we got here as 6x to the power k plus 
x to the power again k okay now we need again to distribute the k here so here we got zero infinite then we can see that this is equal to 6k x to the power k plus 7k x to the power k okay all what we can do is take x to the power k alone so here we got k zero in finite then x to the power k and what we left inside x 6 to power k plus 7 to power k and here we reach the last updated summation form all right in order to find this series all what we need is just substitute the value of k in here so this in the series form f of x plus g of x is equal to now to keep it in the same uh, picture we just take the xk to the end here so here we got that 6 to power 0 plus 7 to power 0 x to power 0 then 6 to power 1 plus 7 to power 1 multiply by x to power 1 then 6 square plus 7 square multiply by x square and so on so here we got that 6 to the power 0 is 1 7 to the power 0 is 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 here we got as 2 6 plus 7 is 13x 6 square plus 7 square is 85x square and so on and here we solve this problem okay now let's see how about the product or the multiplication of uh, the product of two generating function if we got the first generating function as f of x one divided by one minus x and the second is one divided by one minus x another generating function then in order to find the product of the two generating function what we can do is first we convert this to series form so here f of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x which equal to 1 minus x to the power minus 1 and from the rules we got at the beginning of the session we knew that 1 minus x to the power 1 minus to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cubed and so on g of x is equal to again 1 over 1 minus x which equal to 1 minus x to the power minus 1 and here we got it as the same 1 plus x plus x square plus x cubed and so on. now multiplying those together f of x times g of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x multiply by 1 over 1 minus x which equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed etc multiply by again 1 plus x plus 
x square plus x cube and so on okay now this multiplication is as what we do in the normal numbers we'll take the first one and multiply by all the we take the first term multiply by the all and then we go for we leave a space we go for the next and for the third and so on so after multiplication we will find that this is equal to 1 plus x squared sorry x then x squared x cubed then we leave a space and we start from x x squared x cube then we leave a space and start from here x square x cube and we leave a space to start here from x cube and so on okay and all what we need is just add those together so here we got that f of x times g of x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed and we can continue at the end okay here we got the example 13 I have the first functions as f of x which equal to 1 over 1 plus x and the second generating function is g of x where a 1 is 1 over 1 minus 2x another generating function we need to find the product here so first thing we do is we convert the closed form to series form so f of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x and this is equal to 1 plus x to the power minus 1 if you remember if we have here addition then there will be change in the sign so the series uh, provided from this closed form is equal to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus and so on so it will keep changing the sign all right g of x we got it as 1 over 1 minus 2x which equals to 1 minus 2x to the power minus 1 and here we got it as 1 plus 2x plus 2x square plus 2x cube and so on so if we just solve this we will have it as 1 plus 2x plus 4 x squared plus 8 x cubed and so on okay now the product which is f of x multiplied by g of x will be equal to first we got the first series as 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on multiply by g of x as we got it as 1 plus 2x plus 4x square plus 8x cube and so on so multiplying those will give me as what we did we take the first one multiply 
by first term from first function multiply by the whole function here so here we got as 1 plus 2x 4x square 8x cubed all right then we take the second and here keep your mind on the change of the sign so here we got minus okay so this time we'll have it as minus x plus 2 x square sorry minus minus then we got here as 4 x cube minus 8 x to the 4 okay then we go for the next which is x square and we left two places here we got if we turn, multiply x squared by 1, then I'm getting x squared plus x squared by 2x is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared by 4x squared. We got it as 4x to the power 4. okay so here sorry if we go x squared by one then we got it as x squared then 2x cubed and 4x to the power 4 and so on and then we go for the next which is minus x cubed so here we got it as minus x cubed minus 2x to the power 4 minus 4x to the power 5 minus 8x to the power 6 and so on. So by adding those together, we can have that f of x multiplied by g of x is equal to 1 plus 2x minus x is x then 4x square minus 2x square is 2x square plus x square is 3x square then here we got 8x cubed minus 4x cubed it's equal to 4x cubed plus 2x cubed is equal to 6x cubed minus 1x cubed is equal to 5x cubed and we will keep for the rest